have a bad feeling about this. What's that? Any chance that the halftone angry rust has something to do with this? Up! Hey! Ah! Don't move! Good eye! Starting to look pretty tired. That one must sting. Oh no! Oof! No longer holding back! You go oh. ahead! Loot! Same as usual? Ready to take cover! Uh -huh. You! I'm not really black. I said, ah! Loot! After you! See you around! Got it! You stay away! Are you okay? I think we've touched a nerve. Struck a nerve. My shield! More? Nice job! Oof! is the best offense. You go first! No! But why? Ah! 
Loot! After you! Seen as usual? I never thought we'd make it through! <sighs> well, I... It didn't disappear. What? Look! Hyper Rust! That's why it was absorbing our flow attacks. Well, at least we took this beaten for a good cause. This should be enough for you to upgrade the gloves, don't you think? Looks about right. So, what are we waiting for? Ow. You whip me with your hair. I'm sorry. I can't control it. All this for nothing. No way. Oh, it's making me tear up. I can go in front if you want. A ship? This could be our lucky day. We move in, and the rust clears out. Do the whole islet. I'll follow your lead. Okay, well, this one's never flying again. Uh, Come on, are you trying to tell me that you're able to fix up this wreck? I probably could. With the right tools, the right materials, the right replacement parts, the right garage, the right skills and the right knowledge. But no, I was thinking about pilfering its rudder for the nest. With just a bit of work, I can mount it as a wing. That way, it'll feel like it's flying again. Speaking of, do you mind bringing this back to the nest now? No, no, no problem. I can't wait to see how you'll do that. Just need to get to work. Now that is a job well done. Seriously, we knocked this out of the park. I didn't expect it to look so good. I know, right? Check out the reclaimed garden table. How'd you feel about eating out here? I'm down. We could do that this evening if you want. Hmm, I don't know about the evenings. It may be a bit chilly. Daytime would be better. Then we could enjoy the sunshine. Okay, but... Let's make sure I'm in the shade, lest I get sunburned. We can move the tarp. Also, we'll probably have to bring out some cushions, because the seating is a little rough. And a tablecloth, too. I wouldn't want to stain my suitcases. Okay. Then I guess we'll have to wait for a day with no wind. I just hope there won't be too many bugs. We'll never eat out here, will we? No, probably not. But I'm still happy we set up this table. Me too.
That was the last piece. You know what? This looks nice. It's almost like new. <laughs> I think we're both too young to know what it would have looked like new. But it did age gracefully. However, we're gonna have to clear out all this stuff lying around before we can take off. Yeah, seems like it. Too bad. No big deal, Kay. We'll put all this stuff back once we sever the bridge. We'll have plenty of time to do it. We'll even do it better, actually. Yeah. Well, here goes nothing. Do you think it'll work? Oh, it works. But will it work the way that we want it to? Which means one, long enough to consume an entire flow bridge, and two, that it won't blow up in our faces when the hyper rust reaches capacity. I have no idea. I can't really do a full scale test. So after all this, can we still store the flow? Of course. I just added an alternative circuit with hyper rust. We'll just need to switch it when we need to sever the bridge. And it'll work just like the flow bursts. Severing the flow bridge? That also means cutting off our way home. Even our way out of source. Yeah. Is that really what we want? I don't know. What are our other options? Hmm. That's what I thought. Gyro stabilizer. Check. Servo rotors? Check. Hollow Spectre? Uh, which one is the Hollow Spectre again? Doesn't exist. Just checking if you're paying attention. Okay then, everything looks almost operational. Almost? Mechanical engineering isn't an exact science. But if it all goes well, we should take off without a hitch. If it all goes well? Yeah, now you're getting the hang of it. Come on then, let's get the nest off the ground. Roger that. That's as close as I can get. I know. That means we'll have to walk the rest of the way. Are you ready? To set aside the apiary once and for all? 
I've been waiting for this moment. One day we'd be hurtling down the side of a volcano together. I don't think that I would have been surprised. I always knew you were in trouble. there. So, that's where the rust came from. Sure looks like it. I can't even imagine how hot it is in there. One splash, and we're literally toast. I wasn't expecting that severing the bridge would be easy, but I definitely didn't think we'd have to give up even before we'd reached it. Who said we were giving up? Well, you can see we have a problem. We've made it all the way here. It's certain death, Kay. We have our anti-gravity boots. That's besides the point. Even one meter above the rust, the temperature must be a thousand billion degrees. And even if we manage to avoid the drops and make it to the other side in one piece, who's to say our plan will even work? We've never cut a flow bridge before. Ah, uh, I don't even know if the gloves will really work. I thought it might be worth a shot. This is beyond trying our luck, though. We'd be risking our lives. We've risked our lives from the get-go. No. I'm sorry, this is different. Critters hopped on rust, hornet drones, those things I can punch. If I punch this, I'm gonna lose my arm. And that would be the least of my worries, too. I could lose you as well. Which is precisely what's going to happen if we don't sever this bridge. Ozius is gonna show up any day now. And knowing him, he'll certainly bring a platoon of hornets along. And if they don't do the job, they'll send more. How long do you think we can last? They will separate us, you. They will recalibrate us, match us with our respective mates. And there will be nothing left of us. Not even a memory. Nothing. <sighs> nothing. I don't know what's on the other side of this rust. But at least there's something. Okay, but on one condition. You have to promise me that everything will work out. We're gonna cross this lake of rust, sever this bridge, and come back alive. Or else it isn't worth the risk. Or else I, I would rather forget. No chivalrous sacrifice. No bleeding heroic act. We're going. We're severing the bridge, and we're going home. Okay? Okay. Promise? Promise.
Jill! Ah. Oh, no, 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 no. We said no Bluton heroic acts. Ugh. Sorry. But I promise nothing. Ow! Oh, it burns. Sorry. Sorry. It's no big deal. I'll be all right. Just avoid any contact with it. I'm sorry. I should have never insisted. Don't be ridiculous, Kay. Look, we made it. We passed through. Ugh. Now we just need to sever this Bluton bridge. No, don't move. I told you, it'll be all right. It hurts the same whether I'm moving or not. Come on. Let's get this over with. We won't be able to absorb all of this at once. Then we'll do one bit at a time. Over there. The flow threads seem more sparse. It's the moment of truth. Switching to hyper rest mode. It worked! I hope it'll last. There's still a bunch of threads left to deflect. There! Another! All yours! should take a break. I think I can manage on my own. Don't even think about it. The bridge is waning. Uh, as it should. gloves are starting to overheat. My fingers are starting to burn. About half of my body is burning. Only one left. After that, it's over. No going back. No more apiary. No more space travel. Nothing. So what are we waiting for?
If only you knew how long I've been waiting for this. This is gonna be so good. <laughs> yeah, if it even works. What's that thing you say? Uh, let's not start pushing before the panties are pulled down? Of course it's gonna work. With all of your talent and mine put together, how could it fail? Stop it. You're gonna be bad luck. Wanna bet a creamberry fondue that it's gonna work? So, either way, we're having fondue tonight? Correct. Works for me. What now? Now we draw. It works! It works! <laughs> Creamberry fondue forever! <laughs> we can swing by the vegetable patch when we're done playing around. I saw a few nice ones yesterday that looked almost right. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. I added a burst function to the boots. Does that mean we can... Pop flower bursts? Yep. Whoa! It's even better than I imagined! Well, it looks much blutin' prettier this way. All right, let me try. A little bit more over there. Bye-bye, birdies. I think I'm itching for a flower burst. You go right ahead. This isn't the sharpest drawing. Well, let's just say it's abstract art. Did I just feel you pinching my butt in passing? How could I pop? I wonder why we're bothering to plant a bit of everything. When we could just focus on intensive creamberry cultivation. We need a little variety in our diet, lest we get tired. Why? I'm not getting tired of you yet. This is starting to come together. Alright. Are we gonna have this fondue? Yes? Great. I was wondering. The weather's kinda nice. Do you wanna set up outside for a change? Definitely. Start the fondue, I'll set the table. Whew. I didn't think we'd get through all that. What's for dessert? You have some room left? I'm kidding. We do have some apple brew left. Want any? All right, then. We are on vacation after all. Every day is vacation. Exactly. To us. And to source. Which reminds me, we're gonna have to tape up the nest's flow intake tomorrow. I think I saw a leak. Yes. And also, we need to consider pruning our apple dew buds. They're gonna take over the whole vegetable patch if we let them. Bloot. Guess we're not on vacation after all. Ah, uh, well. We can rest when we're old. Okay. The only things we do here are cooking, handiwork, and gardening. We are old. You're right. Speaking of which, it's past our bedtime. What are we still doing up? Wait. We haven't checked the gauges. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. So, what does it say? 0 0.174 minus 0 0.090 plus 0 0.122. Huh. That's more than yesterday. A lot more? Not much, but it kind of confirms our theory. Source's orbit has deviated. Hmm. Other than that, I'm not seeing the bridge. Looks like it's not forming back. At least that's some good news. Now we can sleep soundly. Are you sleepy at all? Not really.
Want a little bit more fondue? I don't think that we should open another bottle. No, you're right. We've used the synthesizer enough in the last few days. Do you know if there's any Lufercrid oil left? For sure. I synthesized some this morning. Help yourself. Someone's thinking about the apiary. Huh? <sighs> no. Well, kind of. But kind of not. I was thinking about us. What we've done. We've severed a Bluton flow bridge. Yeah. About that. It's like the biggest decision I've ever made in my life. By a very long stretch. I thought I would feel changed. Like an entirely new person. But no. I'm not feeling any different. Mentally. I mean, I don't think I've taken it all in yet. You know, it's kind of like when someone you don't see much dies. You understand it, you accept it, but really, concretely, it changes absolutely nothing in your daily life. The only difference compared to before is that you wouldn't be able to see that person if you wanted to. And you really don't remember they're dead until you want to see them. Right now, it feels like the entire apiary is dead. Even if I wanted to, I wouldn't be able to go back. Does that make you sad? It doesn't make me anything. Sad, happy. Nothing. You know, I don't think it's hit me yet. I'd like it to stay that way, actually. I really hope it never hits me. Um... Will you tell me if that happens? <sighs> Who else could I tell? What about your skin? Does it still hurt? No. I can barely feel it anymore. I don't know if it's the lufocrit oil, or if my immune system has just accepted it. But at least it stopped stinging. It feels better. It feels... Okay. Still haven't noticed any superpowers? Remotely controlling the rust, making flow appear out of your hands? <laughs> no. I'm just super ugly. Oh yeah? I personally like your new look. You have this robo-glam attitude with the spikes and everything. Oh please. I'm serious. I think I like you better this way. Stop it. You can't be serious, but it's nice of you to say. And since you're not put off doing what you did to me earlier, then no worries. I am happy. <laughs> Wherever, whenever. Here and now. Hmm. Just what I wanted to hear.